I'm Al Maniscalco, Group Product Manager for Conworth Saxophones, and I'm here with Kirk Whalen. Kirk, it's great having you here in Mark McKirshen, where Conworth began in 1925. It's yeah, you amazing. just seem like saxophone is in the air here, man, don't you absolutely, think? Absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. It's all over. This is a town of instrument makers, and it's really great being here in this historical place. Um, and we're real excited having you here at town and having you at the factory to check out some instruments. Yeah. Uh, but it'd be great to hear about your involvement with Calworth and your history with the brand. Sure, absolutely. Well, I was in a little music store in Glendale, California, and I played that horn, and I, and I said, wow. So I said, okay, I'll be back tomorrow. So I brought my wife. Mm -hmm. and, and, you know, she's the one who has to suffer through, you know, long tones and all <laughs> that, you know. And so I said, baby, turn around. I'm going to play my horn and I'm going to play the southern horn, but I'm not telling you which is which. Yeah. And sure enough, man, when, when she heard it, she said, well, whatever that last one was, categorically, is the one you need. Yeah. <laughs> you know, and that was the Conworth, and, and I bought it then. And I have not regretted it, you know. Um, people talk about, you know, well, this saxophone is great. That's a, you know, for me, it's about the instrument has to not be in your way. The instrument has to, the instrument has to allow you to be who you are. Mm -hmm. And that, to me, is the, is, the, is the most important thing. And that's what the Cowworth has been for me. Yeah, that's cool. Well, I think we should go back and play some more. Let's do it, man. Right Kurt, man, you had a chance to kind of get to see the factory and see what's going on and play some horns. What do you think? Yeah, it, it really does kind of make it real for you, you know. It's one thing to, for instance, to go in your hotel room and turn on the hot water and to not think about, you know, what it took to get that water to you. Um, creatively, I think it's, it's like that, where there's this beautiful water that blesses people and, and it changes people's lives, literally, the music. But that process, if you go further back, begins right here with some people who care very deeply. They care just as deeply about what they're doing as we do about what we're doing. So yeah. it's they're making music in a way. Right. So for me, it's it's wonderful to kind of make that connection. Yeah. To see how they make their music and how it connects with the music that I'm making.